Hi everyone. Today in this video training, I'm going to show you how you can use a free VPN for your personal computer. Well, I have selected a best free VPN provider for you. So let's get started. Okay, friends, open up your browser and on the address bar, type windscribe.com. And here it is. This is a free VPN provider. I have tested several VPN providers, those who offer free VPN, but this guy is absolutely amazing. Okay, so first of all, we need to download the VPN software. So here you can see a big green button to download. I'm just going to click on it. And here it is available for a lots of operating systems. If you are using Windows, you can download through this button. For Mac, use this button. For Linux, use this button. And you can also use this using your browser as an extension. It is available for Chrome. Firefox and Microsoft S. Okay, I'm just going to show you how you can use on your Windows computer and on Chrome browser. Okay, so here you can see a green button. I'm just going to click on it to download the exe file. Click on it. And the exe file is downloading. Here you can see. So I'm just going to navigate to my download folder. Just click over here. It will bring me here on the download folder. Here you can see. Okay, to install, just right click on it. And here you can see run as administrator. Just click on it. And click yes. And hit install button. Here it is. Okay, it was pretty easy. It is installed now. But we need to log in or get started. As we don't have any account, we can't log in. Okay, so we need to create an account now. We can uh, just click this button to get started or let's get back to the browser. Here you can see login and if I hover over here, you can see another button that is sign up. Just click on sign up or you can directly get back here windescribe.com slash sign up. I will provide the link in the video description. Okay, from here, now we need to create an account. Okay, first of all, just choose an username and a password. Okay, here you can see an email address. You must enter an email address. And here you can see a big button, create account. I'm just going to click on it. Okay, friends, we could successfully create our account and we are sent here. Okay, that's great. Now let's get back to the Windescribe app. Here it is. And click on login. So I'm just going to enter my username that is WP Bream. And I'm going to enter the password. Okay, here it is. This green button, click on it. Now here you can see the app for Windows. Okay, here you can see we got 2 GB of VPN bandwidth for every month. But we did create an account and we did not verify our email address. If we verify our email address, then we will get 10 GB of data. Okay, now let's verify our email address. Get back to the web browser. Well, friend, here you can see we have got an email. Confirm your email from Windescribe, just click on it. And here you can see a link. Click this link below. Here it is, confirm email address, just click on it. Then it says email confirmed and now we'll get 10 GB of monthly data. Okay, so we are going to just uh, close this app. And again, Open it from the source, wind, scribe. This time here you can see we have got 10 GB of VPN bandwidth. Now let's see how we can connect our VPN to our expected location. I'm just going to connect our VPN to any location of USA. It offers 11 countries for free. Suppose I like to connect VPN to United States and here you can see location. Just click over here and it shows 
locations available and here you can see us central us east us west i'm just going to connect to new york so go over here and it will be us east if i click on us east it shows up the available locations under us east here you can see star mark and it means it is for the premium users and here you can see hard icon and hard marked icons location is only for the free users i'm just going to scroll down until i get new york and here you can see new york empire that is free hard icon and here you can see new york grand central i'm just going to click over here and it will connect automatically okay it could not connect because of the protocol i'm just going to scroll it up okay just go over here i'm just going to change the protocol from here just click over here and here you can see tcp for my case it works tcp just click on it and here you can see the protocol is tcp and i believe it will work now yes it is um in my area it works just you can see now i have been connected to new york let's see whether i get the new york ip so i'm just going to check our website that is ip hyphen score ip hyphen score okay this website shows the ip you have connected to okay here you can see the ip that is united states new york and the ip score is 95 by 100 that is great and here you can see every checklist is clean okay that means it's a great clean ip that i have got from the wind scribe that's fine okay friends let's see the configuration so here you can see the preference menu just click on it and it shows all the setting options and all the setting options are self-explanatory you can study yourself okay here you can see general under the general here you can decide whether this app will be started when you start your operating system and here you can see close to tray these are pretty simple settings nothing to be worried about just you can uh, play around with the settings here you can see background and here goes connection okay friends here you can see spill tunneling using uh, spill tunneling you can decide just uh, what app or browser or application will use vpn or not here you can see it is op i'm just going to click over here now here you can see mode exclusive or inclusive if you select inclusive and if you select any app only that app will get vpn connection okay and if you select exclusive and select any app from here and then that app won't get vpn connection it's pretty simple study yourself and i'm going to uh, talk about other features like auto connect firewall mode this firewall is like kill switcher it will just uh, help you to prevent from ip leaking here you can see you can select always on okay always on means whenever you run this vpn app this firewall will be connected okay it will uh, help you to prevent from ip leaks and here you can see some other setting options all are important just try yourself okay another tab okay you can set malware you can prevent social networking uh, tra tracking okay and next tab is advanced options here you can enable ipv6 here you can do a lot of things here goes help and here goes about and here goes sign out and here goes quit okay so friends it's pretty fantastic i got super speed using this vpn okay so by this time i could show you how to use the windows app okay here you can see we can use this vpn with the browser extension okay so now we are going to learn how we can use this vpn using the browser extension i can just quit this uh, windows app okay quit yes now i'm just going to click over here on chrome i'm using chrome browser just click chrome 
Okay, now we are here and just click here to this button, add to Chrome, add extension and the extension is going to be installed. Okay, the extension added and click over here and pin the extension. Okay, now we are going to use this VPN uh, using this extension. Just click over here and here you can see login button. I'm just going to enter my username and the password. Hit login and skip this. Okay, now here you can see using the browser, we could just access the VPN. Okay, this time I'm trying a different location. Here it is, France. Just click over here and this one. Okay, it has been connected to France. Okay, in the previous time it was in the USA. Now I'm just going to reload this page. Okay, here you can see now I'm connected to a France IP. Okay, okay. Now click over the extension again and here you goes. here goes the preference menu. From here you can play around the setting options. Under general, here you can see auto connect. That means whenever you open the browser, it will be connected automatically. Okay, that's great because sometimes you might forget to connect to the VPN. Okay, so let's get back and under connections, here you can see a smoke wall and proxy alerts of settings and get blockers. You can block add. You can just get back to another privacy. Here you can see cookie monster, don't disturb, web RTC and location wrap. These are pretty useful setups. Here you can see the description about the setup. Here you can see times wrap. Okay, so here goes account. Here you can see I have 10 GB of bandwidth. Okay, so we could understand that we can use this VPN uh, as a Windows app or we can use as a browser extension. Okay, here you can see available browser extension you can use for Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft S. So friends, I believe watching this video you could get a free VPN for your computer, personal computer. So that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button.